Now, if you're setting up your email, you may have this question. What's the difference between POP and IMAP? Or maybe Microsoft Exchange. But we'll just talk about POP and IMAP. So here's the biggest, here's the difference. When you set your email up for POP, your email is downloaded from the server to your computer. Now, this is good for the company hosting your email because now they don't have to store it, but it's bad for you because if something happens to this computer, yeah, you're going to lose your email. Also, if you have a mobile device and you're using POP to download your email, once it's downloaded to the computer, you won't be able to see it on your mobile device. Also, not a good thing. Now, POP's been around for a long time because, you know, for years, big hard drives were just a pipe dream. That just wasn't a reality. So providers did what they could to kind of offload stuff onto their users. IMAP is great. Um, Gmail and Google Apps offers IMAP. What is IMAP? IMAP keeps a copy. What's well, actually a copy? So it retains your email on the server. So when you view your email on your computer, they're actually the same version. So if you delete an email on your computer, it gets deleted from the server. Now the huge benefit here is if you are also reading your email on your mobile device, your iPhone, your Blackberry, it also sees that same version. So if you delete it, you know, if you uh, delete it from your desktop, it's gone here. It also shows as no longer here. This is awesome and will save you so much time. Totally about productivity. So make sure that you check to see if your email is IMAP or IMAP compliant. Maybe you can switch. But what I'm saying is if you're using POP and you have a hard drive uh, failure, there's theft, there's fire, and if you're not backing up your email, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. So, and and it, it's totally possible to migrate folks from POP to IMAP. And I completely suggest and strongly recommend that people use Google Apps for domain email and then Gmail for their personal email. Yes, AOL, not good. Earthlink, not good. Um, MSN, not good. Live, not good. All these other service providers, including Comcast and Q and Quest, and no, they're horrible because what they do is they allow lots of spam to come into your inbox and they don't care. They could fix it, but they choose not to. And what that does is it wastes your time. You're paying them to waste your time. That's not right. So Google Apps for domain email and Gmail for your personal stuff. You'll be set. You'll be happy. No spam. All right. Take care.